All right, welcome once again to uh, this channel. Uh, my name is Mark Lefebvre. For those of you that uh, just subscribe and then just turn in, and today is, I'm going to uh, talk about a specific question one of my sub subscribers asked, and I feel like it's very important uh, to go over this question instead of sending a, a simple message and make a video about it, and so that you know I can give uh, you. All the information you guys uh, want and uh, you know it might help other people that has the same issue or the same problem okay so the question was uh, the lady that says she is a clinical laboratory technologist uh, with a master degree AICP certified international basically she she has a degree outside of the United States and she passed the board certification international, ASAP international. And then the question was, she would like to come to New York to work. Does she need to take another ASAP? Okay, so I make a lot of research and you know, go over uh, you know, all the information that I'm, uh, um, I'm going to provide you now. If you are, if you're living abroad, basically out, outside the United States and would like to come to America, to work as a clinical laboratory scientist or professional, and then you to uh, ASAP International, this video is for you. Okay, first thing, do you need to take uh, a ASAP again? It depends, okay? It depends, uh, I'm going to tell you why. If you took ASAP Board Certification International before 2015. Okay, if you took ASAP I, ASAP I, meaning ASAP International before 2015, you will need to take it again. Yes, you will need to take Board Certification again because New York State will accept ASAP International up to January 1st, 2015. So start from January 1st, 2015, anybody that took ASAP International from that date to now, you will not, you won't need to take ASAP again. You're good with your ASAP, okay? If you took the ASAP International from January 1st, 2015, you're good and you do not need to take ASAP again. But, okay, this is where things getting a little tough, right? New York State requires you to send an official transcript, okay? Even though you do not need to take ASAP again, but they want to make sure that your credential is up to date. They want to make sure that your classes are the court classes. So basically, most likely, if you've been screened by SAP and SAP accept your classes, most likely you might be good to go without taking any extra class for New York State. But it might happen when you send all the transcripts in New York State, find something that they need an extra lab or an extra class, whatever. So New York State will want an official transcript from your school aboard whatever school you go to and they need to send the form two. If you go to their website, I'm gonna put the link below, www.op.nyed.gov. Uh, uh, if you go to their website, you will see uh, when you file form one, they will want you to file the, the top of form two and give it to your school. The school has to file the rest and then send it directly to New York State. Basically, your school will send an official transcript with Form 2 completed and uh, for New York State to give you a New York State license. Uh, secondly, it's not only uh, ESCP and uh, MLS, uh, you know, people who want to become clinical laboratory technologists. If you want to become a cytotechnologist okay so if you are bored taking uh, ASAP uh, exam international for cytotechnologists okay so which is ASAP CT 
New York State will accept your credential up to April 1st, 2015. Okay, April 1st. 2015 for international remember i'm talking about international so if you take if you took your easter uh, your uh, site technologies class uh exam esap ct site of access technologies and then you're good up to april 1st 2015 okay so anybody before april 1st 2015 has to take asap again uh histology histology if you took uh histology exam which is asap i h t so you good uh on uh, all the way to april 1st 2015 as well so basically anybody that took that exam before april 1st 2015 will have to take it again if you take it during on April 1st and 15 and after so you, you don't need to take ASAP again your ASAP international is good but, but, but remember New York State require you to send an official transcript and then they want to see your classes and if most like maybe they might want to see because what happens is they trying to accept a certain class uh, compare one class to another but basically what i mean by if uh, you know for molecular molecular biology example like molecular biology if you do not take molecular biology basically before new york state will say okay you need to take that class but now if you take cell biology with lab and you, or, or you take genetic with lab new york state will accept it so what they want to see they want to see each uh, uh, syllabus the syllabus has this, this the description of specific topic they want you they want uh, the class to to cover so that that you can say okay well because they covered specific topic then they're good to go an example right for molecular biology so if you tell them okay well, i want to i have a cell biology class and they want to see the syllabus the syllabus will indicate that they cover the structure and function of nucleic acid and then they want to see introduction to polymerization reaction PCR and also they want to see replication transcription and translation so basically in your genetic class or cell biology class with lab they want to see uh, those topic covers and now if your syllabus does, doesn't show that those topic covered then you will have to take molecular biology uh, that's that's no stick technique so i hope i answer your question and i don't want this video to be too long but i have another video that coming out about a different topic and remember if you like this video uh if you think it's helpful remember to like and subscribe you know so that more people can know about clinical laboratory scientists clinical laboratory technologies and clinical laboratory technician, you know, what we do uh, to help patient, you know, improve people's life. Thank you very much. That was your friend, Mark Leffel. See you next time.